Our next speaker, we're glad to welcome uh, someone who has known Herbert well and went to school with him, not secondary school, but this time Cooper's and Librand. Please put your hands together as you make welcome His Excellency, Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambo. Excellencies, my dear brothers and sisters, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. From him we come, to him we shall return. I met Herbert sometimes in 1988, when Herbert reported for duty in Cooper's and Library. Then, I also newly qualified then as a chartered accountant. And Herbert was brought to Cooper's by his father, Pastor Shingle Wigwe. It was a faithful Friday, and I was going to the mosque, so I was wearing the traditional house address. So when they saw me on the ground floor, they asked me, where is Chief Oke's office? Then Oke was our partner. I said, it's on the fifth floor. And I was already on the ground floor. They said, can you show us? I said, it's on the fifth floor. The father said we should go to the fifth floor. So I had to walk again to the fifth floor and pass by. Then Mo, Auntie Mo's office was somewhere as you climb onto the fifth floor. And I showed them the office. So they entered the office and I went to the mosque and came back. So when I came back, I was sitting in the waiting room. And they finished. Even then, Herbert came with two books. I saw him holding two books. One was GMAT, and one was uh, Question and Answers in Financial Accounting. So I said, Why are you, what are you doing with this kind of books? Herbert said he thought he was coming for a written exam. That means Herbert must have prepared and was still holding those books for revision. When they finished and they were going, Pastor Shingle now called me and said, this guy is your brother. Hold him. So he gave me Herbert as my brother, as a friend. And since then, till that faithful day that Herbert died, we have been together. So from that day, <laughs> Herbert, I knew him as a very, very hardworking guy. He said he wants to qualify within this first year. I said, but you are doing just your NYSC now. He said, no, he wants to attend the exam. Harvard was a role and first city Harvard passed ICANN exam. <laughs> After qualifying, we were thinking of what to do next. I said I was tired of practice. He said he was also thinking of making some good money somewhere. I said, how? They are recruiting in CBN. We should go to CBN. He said, no, 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 no. I go to CBN. You no, know, he is going to GT Bank. 
I said, how, how are you going to GT back? He said, he has already written the exam somewhere, but I should not tell anybody. So things go on and on and on, and I was in CBN. Again, one day, in CBN, I was then assistant manager licensing. Harvard made me. He said they want to acquire Access Bank. I said, how? He said it's already in advanced stage. I said, how do you do it? He said, I should just cooperate and... Uh, <laughs> so things go on and on and on and one thing I can say is Harvard is a risk taker Harvard can take any kind of risk Harvard can approach any kind of problem and solve that problem even when you are running away from that problem Harvard and I acquired this bank, took it from nothing to where this bank is today. After making it one of the biggest banks in Nigeria, expanded the bank and make it a very dependable bank, not only in, in the Nigeria or around Africa, but all over the world. May his gentle soul rest in peace.